Hello guys, it's Grim Dutch here with another video and today we have 500 hard clue scrolls. I've been saving them up all year now, which is a couple of days in, a couple of weeks actually. I haven't been uploaded in the past weeks because I wanted to make a little bit of a bigger clue scroll opening than I usually do. I just wanted a break from clue scroll opening, so that's why we have 500 hard clues. Of course we need the blood die for the die set, but uh, still we need the backstab cape as well we haven't got that in almost 10,000 clue scrolls in total so let's hope there is something in those 500 let's hope it is a backstep cape at least maybe something else as well we're at 65 uh, master clue scrolls which takes a little bit of time to get 150 again but I'm pretty sure we are going to hit that at least next month or so you can expect another master clue scroll episode do we want the bonus experience yes we do we're not going to reel that one we are going to reel this one into a fortune component but yeah you can expect another master video really excited about that maybe we'll get the Orlando Smith set because the the price of the Orlando Smith set is absolutely through the roof right now I think it's around uh, 3 billion as I uh, might recall from the French set which is an staggering amount of GP of course which I can pay but I don't have that in cash and I don't want to sell my dice just yet so uh, that's why I don't have the Orlando's uh, at this moment but if we get a like a shadow die in this video we are going to sell the dice and get the Orlando Smith set uh, because I don't think I have enough right now I have one shadow die and one bears die in the bank and I have 2.1 billion in cash so I think I'm fairly close to 3 billion of course with that but uh, not quite and I want to have some cash left over for other things as well and uh, maybe with the bossing series I need some investment so uh, that's why I'm hanging Hanging on to that. We're not getting a lot right now. A couple of masters. Uh, I think we got two so far and some puzzle skipping tickets which I actually used up quite a few uh, in my road to 500 art crew score caskets because well I just wanted to speed run them and uh, with the puzzle skipping tickets you couldn't do that quite easily but I think the street price is around 800k so it was quite expensive. I think I used uh, almost 200 of them in my um, 500 caskets so used quite a few another master that's nice uh, quite a few in that run I don't think I will be able to do that again uh, maybe when I speed run elite crew schools uh, for a big opening I will do that again but it just takes a lot of GP to uh, to get a little bit close to uh, solve all the puzzles you get sometimes with hard crew schools you get like six sliders in a row which happened sometimes i skipped some of them and when i skipped them i got a puzzle yet again so it was quite frustrating sometimes uh, to get all those sliders 1.1 will with another puzzle skipping ticket but um, i really don't mind those sliders at all but they are taking time and i wanted to do them as fast as possible so that's why i did that another fortunate component <laughs> double fortunate component but we are on the hunt for the backstep cape i've been on the hunt for that for quite a while i've, I've talked about it in my videos I just want to get that backstep cape because i see people like dirty which of course did a hell, hell lot more uh, hard crew skills than i did but still they got like I don't know really 12 14 16 they got a lot of backstep capes and i haven't got one in uh, well 10,000 uh, clue scrolls in total almost so it's kind of a miracle that i didn't got any backstep cape whatsoever so uh, that's the goal of this video is at least get a backstep cape or anything like that you can't expect third age or a die would be nice of course a uh, barrow's die or a shadow die which has been which i recall i think it's almost one year ago since I got a shadow die from Heart Crew School. It's been a really long time ago and we want something from Hearts again. Of course we get a miss. This is a miss. Yeah, this is a super set which is absolutely horrendous. Which is a miss on the third age. Yeah, you l learn a lot when you watch dirty streams sometimes. Even I learn a lot from those streams sometimes. I've been doing hearts for quite a while, but still I'm learning stuff about the drop rates. I know uh, some of the misses, not all of them. I know them right now uh, when I see them, and that was a miss and uh, not that one. But the super set was though 89k, which is a very, very poor reward. Another master cruise school. I'm really hoping to get a lot of masters because I really want to make another video on that because the last one was, well, that was amazing, of course. 
course you all know that if you saw that video and we got loads of dice in that one i think it was actually at the same spot where i am right now uh, maybe it brings me luck in this video as well but uh, i'm happy with one die double fortunate no triple fortunate component again i got that a couple of times right now we have almost 400 caskets over 400 caskets left and we are at 45 million gp so we are going to make quite a bit of gp right now a lot of disassembling to do actually but i think i will hold on to the fortune components a little bit longer because i don't want to take the time to uh, disassemble all of those things i have a shit ton of well what is it junk I think junk you need as well for the alchemic, alchemical onyx which I have at least 150k of that maybe more I'll check later but I disassembled a whole lot for uh, the right perks for my bossing series still haven't got a P4E2 I think it was I still haven't got that in over three four thousand uh, gizmos which is taking a shitload of time and shitload of GP so I think I will ho hold on to that after uh, the new skill releases which I thought it would bring a lot better uh, perks as well that's something i saw on reddit i'm going to hold on to that i'm not going to do any bossing anytime soon another master and a fortunate i think i will be able to do another bossing series uh, in a few months i'm uh, thinking about vindicta or some high level bosses because it is true uh, that my videos on the uh, gold wars dungeon one bosses although uh, it's fun for me to do it's not that much entertainment not that much fun to to watch really uh, and of course i have armadillo and zamorak left and i already got the pet so there's really nothing to uh, gain from that other than uh, experience uh, which is on the defense side so with samurak uh, not really what we want because we are already at 200 mil magic and we are almost at 200 million defense i think yeah we are uh, 65k away and then have, we have 200 mil attack defense constitution and magic so uh, if you are farming hard crew schools or we farm elite crew schools we are not going to get any experience from that uh, with the cannon i get a little bit experience in range but that's all <laughs> all there is to it I'm not getting any combat experience whatsoever anymore which is a little bit of a bummer uh, because i want to get to 5.4 billion experience and i'm not going to uh, and i'm not going to make any progress when i do clue scrolls right now so that's a little bit of a downside for the clue scroll part but we will see about that not much loot in those hard clue scrolls yet no broadcast yet we can't expect one in 500 of course uh, but we really want to get something from those 500 because well it took me uh, i think three weeks to get the 500 i'm really uh, short on time I have some weekends which I can do uh, quite a lot of hard cruise girls but I have also other things to do as well uh, which need some AFKing and if I have a stack of 25 I really can't do hellhounds because I already have 25 hearts so that was a little bit of a dilemma sometimes but uh, well you have to deal with that another triple fortunate component 1 million there 2.7 mil where maybe this one is even better than that and we are not going to get anything better we have 370 caskets left so we have a lot more to go 73 mil made right now so we are on the way to the 100 mil mark which we are going to achieve of course in this video i think we'll be able to do right 200 250 million gp something like that uh, which is nice for the total value of my bank but it's not going to really make a dent in the cash tag to be really honest with you guys 600k with another master 188k reroll that into another fortune component and another one right there of course we're going to get loads of them right now but we want a shadow die we're not going to get a shadow die but it would be nice though i just don't have the luck with shadow dice as people uh, which are opening quite a lot as well have uh, like dirty uh, which is opening quite a lot of hard cruise skills all of the time and he gets a lot of dice but i don't get a lot of dice with those hard cruise skills i get a lot of dice with masters though uh, well three in 750 which is a pretty good rate if you uh, if you would say that but with the hard cruise schools i've been dry for a very 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 long time uh, also with the elites actually haven't got any 
Tour 8 or Blood Die in 3400 and something Elite Goose Cross, which isn't a that weird of course, but sometimes it's a little bit frustrating that you just don't get any Tour Age or Druidic or something like that. Uh, from your crew scrolls which is an absolute dream and we got that early uh, last year i think with the hearts uh, we got a, a range bottom at i think in april that was so quite a long time ago this was my my first third age item ever actually uh, which i achieved right then not the best piece but it is third age and was so happy to get that almost <laughs> equally happy as the third age die but of course the value is something as well for the clue scrolls and the value of the third age die uh, was around 3 billion and from the uh, third age uh, range bottom it was only like 25 million ish so not a whole lot 1.3 million with Sarah Domin pages those kind of rewards are nice but we want to get a broadcast at least in this opening which would be nice 163k and in the reroll we don't get much 97k let's reroll that one into another fortunate but if you guys have any uh, suggestions on the next opening I'm uh, going to make uh, videos in a way that you guys decide what is the next opening uh, and it really needs to be realistic. I can't do like 1000 Elite Crew Schools in a week or in two weeks actually or in three weeks. I'm really slow sometimes but uh, what you want, guys want to see next is uh, well something I will take in uh, to consideration for my next video so put it in the comment section down below what you guys want to see next from me an elite cruise girl opening a big hard cruise girl opening again or just focus on those masters it's all possible but i really want to know what you guys want to see more bossing videos are coming on the channel as well and i'm thinking about some new stuff as well but it's just something i i have to figure out what i want with the channel of course because well i really need to make some changes to the channel because i can't uh, go on the way i did because it would be a little bit boring for myself as well uh, to only do a uh, 50 50 openings or 25 25 which i did for quite some time but it just isn't enough anymore to do a 25 25 video with all the competition i have right now i have to be honest with you guys about that of course uh, when you see a video of 100 elite goose girls and you see a video of 25 hearts and 25 elites you're going to watch the 100 elite goose girls and those guys have a lot of time to do those goose girls i think but i just don't have the time to do that every week consistently so uh, that's my problem and that's my issue for the channel right now uh, but every challenge is something you can uh, well resolve of course so we are going to do that and we have almost 300 caskets left which is absolutely insane we haven't got many drops we got a few high level uh, or high level we got a few high gp rewards like 3 million uh, but nothing much to write home about <laughs> except from that 300k is something you get a lot 160k so we haven't got any broadcast we are going to get one i think in the last 50 or something we're going to get a backstep that would be nice because it takes off an item on i think three separate uh, cruise score locks the heart elite any master yeah that would be the dream the best item we can get right now of course the barrel is something we really want as well but we can't really expect a barrel wouldn't be fair as well to get a barrel so soon after 56 5700 hard cruise course completed yeah 5700 completed so i did quite a few of course in the early part of this year going to set a goal of 65 or 7000 hard cruise goals uh, in total so not this year 7000 but 7000 done in total uh, that would be the goal of this year to reach that and for uh, elite cruise schools i think i will be able to get somewhere near 4000 5000 uh, between four and five i hope really for five and get the die set completed but might as well get that from another master because i'm so lucky with the master cruise schools almost the same reward value right there 184k and 490k and we made a total of 123 million gp uh, 174k 130k really well business given tickets are always welcome we got 38 of them right now so we did get a few of them from the hard crew schools and uh, so far i think we got well i can check let's hang on for a second how many masters we got 
15 masters it's something right so let's continue we have 270 to go and we get another one right there almost back to back no we are not going to get back to back don't see that a lot in hard cruise scrolls that you get back to back uh, masters the rate is of course 1 in 15 so we can expect uh, quite a few from this opening we we are going to reach above 100 in total we have 64 right now in my uh, clue scroll carriers we are going to reach i think above the uh, 100 mark let's hope we will and then we have to finish off with a strong elite Cusco episode. If you guys want me to make another uh, Cusco video which is elite Cusco, then we would hit, I think, the 150 mark quite soon. Keep that in mind with your video suggestions in the comment section down below. And please let me know in the one with the most uh, likes uh, will be the next video. So uh, keep that in mind. And if there are not many suggestions, I will pick one myself, of course, which I usually do. But I want to give you the chance to say what you really want to see in Clue Scroll openings. I can do, like which I said, 1000 uh, Elite Crystals, which I can, but it would take a very, very long time. And I don't want uh, no uploads for like six months or so, or three months or four months. I really want to make uploads again every week. I don't think I will be able to do that for the coming months. I think once every month, once every two weeks I'm going to upload. Depends on the video. If I'm making a big video like this one, it would be some time without an upload. And it's fine by me. I want to make quality content and something you guys enjoy. Smaller openings, which is usually less enjoyable than the big ones. Of course, you don't want to watch a 6000 Elite Cusco opening on YouTube because it would take too much time that's nice for twitch or something uh, which i saw just doing uh, which was it 10,500 elite crew schools you have my respect my man that's absolutely insane to get so many caskets saved up he also did it in six or seven months time which is absolutely insane don't know how you were able to do that but yeah he did it and he got i think 24 dice or something like that two die sets which is for the rates it's actually really great because if you compare it to my clue scroll uh, drops or dies from elite clue scrolls it's a whole lot better yeah he got really lucky on the rates with two bloods and two third ace dice some druidic as well i think three pieces or something like that i watched that stream for uh, quite a while and they got so many ice dice as well i think he got 12 ice dice which is absolutely insane you really got some some back to back almost which is something you really want to see in elite crucibles as well which you of course you want a blood die but an ice die that's there's also 1 billion gp yeah that's absolutely insane to get so many of those i think my last ice die was well i'm almost one year ago as well i think more than one year actually i got my last ice die i can't really recall it when i got the last one i think it was in Farrock or something like that yeah that was an opening that was way back we got a couple of ice dies almost and we got gilded of course which is another miss and it's also a duplicate because i really need the kite shield and i think the full helm to complete the gilded set i have to check uh, after this video but i have to check i think i already got that and that's not something we want to see so two misses in this video and i think we are going to get a really long dry streak for the hard cruise schools uh, on the third age on maybe a little bit more than third age as well the shadow die the backstep cape we are not really that lucky well maybe this is the first opening actually this year so it really sets the standard of this year or the feeling uh, which we're going to hold on to for the name we got a shadow die let's go finally from those hard cruise girls again for a while back since we got a shadow die but we got one again from hard cruise girls and we got the uh, where well, we can buy the Orlando Smith's head right uh, right now. So that's very nice. Finally a shadow die again. Also nice for the collection log. Well, I got a lot of PMs, so thank you all for congressing me on the shadow die. Let's continue the opening with another clue scroll, another hard clue scroll. So this opening is quite good uh, so far with the shadow die. That's really what I wanted from this opening. Next to the backstep cape, which I wanted even more maybe, but uh, the shadow die of course is uh, 700 mil almost that's a nice bonus and we can buy the orlando smith set right now don't know if we're going to do that yes we are going to do that because i promised you guys in the beginning of the video we would sell these shadows and buy the orlandos so i think we are going to do that for the next opening which 
is going to be almost certainly a elite cruise school opening i think you guys want to see an elite cruise because of the chance we have with the blood die which is the last die we need to complete the die set which is something we work towards for over three years would be a nice ending to the series to get a blood die and i know already what the next series would going to be which is probably going to be a road to a barrel i really enjoy hard cruise girls in the last few weeks i really enjoy those speed runs and all that comes with it i think i will be able to do loads more hard cruise girls and maybe a little bit bigger openings as well for the hearts i think i will stick to 500 not really anymore maybe i'll stack 1000 to make it into two separate videos because i think 1000 is a little bit too long it would be almost one hour that's not really something uh, which is really handy on youtube i do think we need to get to half an hour 40 minutes maybe a little bit more but one hour is a little bit too much so we are going to stick with 500 i think maybe we'll do a special occasion we do a 1000 opening or a 1500 opening from uh, some uh, cruise scroll tier i don't think it would be masters though because it would take a hell of a long yeah that's something i dream about 1000 master cruise scroll caskets opening in one go but that would mean i would do a whole lot of elite cruise scrolls or i would save up my master for a year like a year that's something i need to think about but i probably won't be doing that because i need to make content as well and i can't just be uh, upload uh, free for like months that's just not something i want and not something uh, you guys want i think we have 172 caskets left we already got one broadcast maybe we can squeeze out uh, one more i don't really care about which broadcast it would be if i have preferences for the collection lock but other than that uh, well i have one broadcast i don't want which is a sack of effigies which we got four times already uh, five times actually in total one of lock uh, so we got five of those already and they are completely worthless as well don't want to get that uh, that's for sure but other than that every broadcast is welcome right now let's reel that one into 77k which is absolutely horrendous 130k which is not even better we made a total of 866 millions that's the good news from this episode we made a hell of a lot uh, of gp right now enough to buy the orlandos we got 22 master cruise schools which is a little bit on the low side because according to the clue score rates we should have gotten 33 at the end of the video so it's still possible but we have 150 left not really too sure if it might happen 114k let's reel into a real token which is the first one of this episode actually we didn't got any real tokens before uh, we are going to use that in the next episode of course i'm not going to take that out of my bank right now really hoping to get some more master cruise schools because and we got another miss two miss or three actually in the same episode on the third age maybe we're going to get third age in the episode as well but most of the time if we get like god pose in elite cruise girl episodes or well like those rewards in hearts we are not going to get it so that's a really bad sign that we don't get any third age in the episode which is of course we can't expect that but still three misses in the same one a little bit painful a little bit painful but we got the shadow die to make up for it which is of course more than enough to make up for it to really be honest that's something why i do cruise scrolls because the thrill of getting those dice is absolutely insane and there are not many other ways to get such a huge amount of gp in one go of course you have staking or something like that but just and we got a barrows die as well we got two dice in the same episode again we got another die oh that's something else this place is insane we already got let's open one more yeah we we got i think five dice in total now at this same spot it's just absolutely my lucky spot the next master cruise school episode is definitely going to be here so we are going to continue we have 130 caskets left we got two dice so far a shadow and a barrows which is absolutely insane all the dice you can get from those hardcore schools we only missed one thing to make this absolutely 
insane and that's a barrel or a third age item and i will lose it right then if i get something like that as well next to the barrels and the shadow which well i said before in the ethic halfway in i said well i'm not that lucky with dice and then he gets loads more dice and only open 500 and i get two so stop complaining about the dice because it it worked though it worked we got two dice but still we are not unlucky on those dice guys we are just not unlucky on dice we are unlucky on today so in this episode we got three misses on that uh, but other than that we really can't complain and we made well let's save it for the uh, final caskets uh, we made quite a few uh, GP right now including the fortunate components of course the fortunates are also adding up to the value I think you get 100 no 200 million GP from uh, the fortunate components alone in those 500 that's absolutely insane and it was definitely worth uh, those special skipping tickets uh, to be uh, to be totally honest with you guys and it was so fun to do those hearts you really speed run them I, I really struggle to get like I think I can do 28 29 an hour and that's really my max with puzzle skipping tickets well i try to get like 30 but it's just impossible with, with whatever i do i'm just not will able to get that uh, we have 100 caskets left so the last 100 right here and uh, maybe we'll get something else as well which would absolutely be insane but uh, for the speed run of the hard crew schools i really try i'm really trying to get my speed up i've invested in doing some uh, quests for better teleports and all such of things to to get faster and faster with those hearts it's getting better i, I remember a time uh, last year i think early last year in january i think i did hard cruise scrolls actually that was before the totem so keep that in mind but i think i did only 13 12 an hour something like that so it was absolutely horrendous didn't have any of the teleports you really need for hard cruise scrolls because I didn't want to do those quests and I just didn't feel like doing those quests which was absolutely well stupid do not do those quests if you haven't done the quests for the hard crucial teleports like yeah the watchtower teleports or the uh, evil dave spellbook something like that just do those quests guys it saved so much time for me in every run again so really do your quests because it's really worth it although it's not always fun but if you get into questing again it, it's so fun to do it's really fun but i just don't have the time to uh, get my quest cape right now don't really have the motivation as well because you really have to pay attention of course to the uh, runescape screen if you want to do questing and i tend to have a, a slight issue with uh, afk quite a lot i really enjoy that watching a series or something like that that's why i like rush you can fk for quite a bit of time at hellhounds then do some action with the uh, speed running of the hearts and then back to afk again same is with the elite goose girls of course you get a lot of afk time even more with uh, them with the hellhounds because you only get an average six or seven uh, elite crew skulls an hour which takes a hell of a long time most of the time three four hours and then you have uh, all of the uh, elite crew skulls you need that was a nice one 3.2 million we have 70 more caskets to go can we squeeze out one more broadcast in this one would be a little bit unfair maybe to get another one but we did get another one with those masters in the last i think it was last 20 or something it could happen with the hard goose girls again as well we got the shadow which was a really long time ago the barrels was i think half a year ago something like that because i didn't do that many hard goose school openings at least solo openings i enjoyed both and well i really didn't feel like doing a 100 elite crew school video every time because just don't have the time to do 100 it takes quite a bit of time to get 100 elite crew schools but i'm back on the grind with the elites i think i have 30 of them stacked right now uh, which isn't a lot of course but it's a beginning for the next opening 170k in the real 500k we have 50 more caskets left so we are almost at the end and we did get quite a bit of gp it's not almost most at 1.1 yeah, we made 1 billion gp so far so that's absolutely insane from 500 and the gp rates if you count it out in one hour 
Uh, GP an hour wise it would be absolutely insane as well. Still a shadow fight we need three more master cruise girls to get to get enough uh, masters which is according to the rates we should have gotten 33 and uh, that would be dead on really uh, dead on the rates and we got 31 right now so we need two more uh, to hit that. I think we're able to do that in 43 caskets. You never know with those hearts though what you're going to get of course reroll into another fortunate just give me some master cruise scroll again yeah we did cut one we did get one so we need one more to hit the 33 maybe it would be nice if you throw in a well let's say a uh, backstep cape as well no maybe in the reroll no another reroll no <laughs> another reroll no we get a fortunate component that's not bad 33 caskets to go maybe we're going to get something else as well 100 200k reroll that into one personal skipping ticket we got 75 almost personal skipping tickets so that's nice that's 800k each guys that's a lot of GP. I don't think I will be able to uh, save them up though. I will be able to use them. I think I will use them. 33 we hit so we are on the rates for the masters. Uh, I think we will be using those special skipping tickets though because you get them actually kind of for free because you are opening the hearts yourself and well I'm not going to buy them and we got number 34. Uh, we are not going to buy them but I think I will uh, finish all of the puzzle skipping tickets I have in my bank right now and then just do the sliders again which would be a pain with the hard cruise skills but sometimes I just like to speed run them and take the quickest route and see how much time I can save and what my best time is and just enjoy that a little bit more than just uh, well casually doing hard cruise skills at this time you really want to some uh, well some challenges in those cruise skills as well next to the openings which is always exciting but you want to have something exciting as well while doing those so that's why I throw in something like that when you do clue scrolls for this amount of time which is uh, three years almost four years I think uh, you want something else sometimes and I really only do clue scrolls uh, sometimes bossing skilling I do rarely so I just focus all my attention into clues so yeah sometimes you want a little bit of a challenge here and there let's reel that one into another fortunate we have the last five caskets we are not going to get the back step cape once again uh, which is not surprising to me at all but double fortunate right there uh, we will be able to get that one day but still we want that for collection lock because we want to uh, get close enough to get all of the items in the collection lock which is going to take a hell of a long time but really want to make some progress in that <laughs> it's been a while since we got progress in the hard cruise lock but nevertheless we got another master which is number 36 so we are three above the rates and the final casket of this opening is going to be 598k well we're just going to reel that and just uh, maybe we're going to get a little bit more than that no we are not uh, yeah this was the 500 let's check how much we made in total so in total we made 1.1 billion gp from this opening which is absolutely insane of course and it was really more than i expected we got 800 and 34 million gp from the dice we got a shadow and a barrels die and the fortune components and all the rest was worth 275 million and we got 36 masters we got three masters above the rates so i'm really happy about that and we are now at above the 100 mark with the master so really all positive things let's check the collection lock real quick because well nothing much has changed of course we're still at 103 out of 118 uh, but we did get another shadow and another barrels die on, on log. Uh, we got seven barrels and five shadow dies right now. And it was a duplicate the rune uh, gilded. Uh, we have two on log, but actually I have four of them in my tab. And I have four of those in my tab. And I actually have a gilded full helm in my tab. Uh, so we did get that off lock and we got uh, three kite shields in my tab as well really struggling to get that gilded set completed and of course the elusive backstep cape is going to be a mystery where that is maybe in the next episode you never know but it was a great opening guys a shadow and a bear of die and a whole lot of masters i have nothing more to say about that it was absolutely insane the first opening of this year hope you all enjoyed this one thank you all for watching leave the like if you like this series and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye